Hey, Kung Fu Cowboy, Richard Del Conner, Buddha Z, who am I today? Actually, who was I? I guess I'm Kung Fu, Cow I'm Kung Fu Cowboy today, that's what I was saying, and that's the business card I passed out. I just performed for, um, it's not a movie, it's a TV series, it's some cult show where they <clears throat> all dress up in white garb, so maybe you know what it is. Uh, but anyway, one of those TV shows is shooting right here where I practice my flute over here at Regency Theater. And, hey, look at my fingers are in the shot. Um, anyway, I was trying to get Bear in the shot. Hi, Bear! Hey, Bear. Bear is not, he does not know how to work the camera. Anyway, I'm not saying that, yeah, I should, I should. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm the reluctant actor or the, or the person who decided, I don't want to be an actor. Uh, but anyway, um, I want to direct though. I'm a writer, director, producer. Okay, so, but I will act to some extent, just, you know, because I like to have fun. I like to make people laugh, especially since I've had kids t turned into, but anyway, it was just a kind of a fun day. I just wanted to say that it's too good, the way it's not nice that people aren't more interested in my life, so I don't have to keep telling everybody what happens every day, but I have all kinds of excitement every day. So today, I came over here to practice my flute, and I got all set up, and <clears throat> got all nice and buzzed, and got my stereo blasting, and I got my flute out, and I just started jamming, and I was just totally into it. I was in another zone. It was like, I was in another dimension, just totally having fun, jamming, because I was like, just close my eyes and just playing along with some music that I'd selected, you know, that was on my iPhone, and playing it through my JBL speaker. So, <clears throat> I had a nice blend, the music and me, it's like we were all in the same room together. So, I was having a great time, playing away, got about three songs, all of a sudden, I kind of look up and I can see some feet, you know, I, I kind of glimpse out and I can see some feet coming towards me and say, oh, well, okay. <laughs> I could tell they were making a beeline to me. People are always walking by me when I'm performing, but, you know, this one was kind of coming towards me and so I kind of had a sense that, you know, I could sense this was, this was coming to me. So anyway, I kind of got to a, uh, I, as soon as I realized, I kind of looked up and saw he was definitely coming at me uh, and he kind of made a motion to me. I, I said, hold on just a second and I turned off my, my iPhone so the music would stop and I could talk to him. <clears throat> turned out he was the uh, uh, sound man uh, for the shoot and uh, looked location sound and uh, he said he uh, needed me because they were recording normally they shoot over here MOS everywhere but they're shooting in the corner unit inside and so I guess that they were doing sound today so I always said hey I'm not gonna argue with you you know and uh, he was suggesting I could go in somewhere else you know it's like nah bear likes this spot I'm over here because a bear you know bear his bear likes to climb the trees here and stuff so bear so anyway I said I'd just as soon hang out here and you know not play my flute so bear can hang out today so um Anyway, before he hung out, we before he left and went back to his job, we, we agreed that actually he would let me play when they broke for lunch. So, in other words, when they took their lunch break at 2.30. Because I said, when are you guys leave? And he goes, 8.30. He's like, ah, you know, I'll be gone by then. So, anyway, uh, but he said, hey, you'd play during the lunch break. And so I did. And so, anyway, but the, here's, here's why it was kind of neat and that made it really a fun day was because... Even though everything went wrong, okay, I got shut down. I'm over here practicing, and then somebody comes down and says, "Stop playing." No, he was kind of nice about it, but uh, but he was firm. He was firm. He wasn't gonna slack on it. No, but anyway, he um, um, really wanted me to. Oh, I'm trying to get bear in the shot. Bear. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, uh, so anyway, I, by waiting till till lunch, everybody was out of the out of the place that they're shooting, out of that little restaurant thing over there. And so I had everybody in a line. I had this like captured audience of like fifty people over there in the lunch line, <laughs> over there for catering. And, and, and I went over. I took my flute over to the shot, and I found the sound man. I go, "Hey, am I good to go? Can I play my flute?" And he goes, "Yeah, you'll play your flute now." And so you know, I, I played everything cool, trying to get along with everybody, and. Um, you know, like I'd want, if I was shooting that film, you know, and I wanted somebody to shut up, I wouldn't want them to argue about it. I'd, so I, I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Okay. Um, anyway, so I waited till lunch and I got them all over there and they were lined up and, uh, and, uh, and I played a show. Oh, but what made it even better was uh, this guy who pulls up behind me. Turns out he's a, um, I, I, maybe I won't say his name, but he's a kind of a famous documentarian. And he, well, most famously, I guess I'm going to try to look him up on this one. He did a uh, Timothy Leary um, back when and so uh, he spent a whole day with him and so anyway I want to see that that documentary but anyway he's a, a really cool guy and we're about the same age he's actually a few years older than me which is kind of cool to find somebody who's lucid and, and, and talented and in, the, in the business and so anyway we shared the same um music interest and everything and so but anyway he got to hear me perform and that was kind of cool so here i got some some old timer from my days you know who might actually have some connections you know maybe he can actually say something nice to somebody someday hey, another flute player and maybe something will happen but um so anyway i got to perform for him i got to perform for the whole show and i got a bunch of compliments as people walked by later hey heard you rocking out on the flute man cool <laughs> you know and i say hey kung fu cowboy com, you know but i need to get that website 
improve. But anyway, hey, just wanted to say, I do, just having fun. And and just what, the whole point of this story was, sometimes when things go wrong, go with the flow because it might go better, you know, by not being, you know, hostile or resentful or something, you know, I didn't end up shutting down and moving somewhere else or not playing at all. But by making that compromise, I ended up making up a whole bunch of friends and had a really good time. So, you know, just kind of remember when things don't go right, maybe it's an, an improvement. <laughs> so anyway, Baron I signing off. There's my fingers again. Okay, I'm not giving you the finger. Don't get me wrong.